it's Doreen, and this is your weekly Oracle card reading for May 18th through 24th. So many of you have asked that we film again in the garden with all the puppies and the kitties. So here we are on a very windy day. And because the energy continues to be intense, we wanted to work with the Guardian Angel Tarot cards to get some insights and information. As you know, this week begins with Mercury Retrograde, which we don't go into fear about at all. We just have it as a heads up to be a little flexible and patient with things that happen with Mercury Retrograde. After all, this one's in Gemini, so it's kind of like a double Mercury Retrograde with the Mercury, Mercury. And so leave a little extra time in your schedule when you're going somewhere. If something happens to electronics, try to have a sense of humor and be flexible about it. Things just tend to be a little more challenging, but if we have a sense of humor and we really use this energy as a time to rework things, then it, it's a blessing. It really is. It's a time of releasing and, and letting go. So let's just all enter it with faith and hope and, and support for each other. And as I said, the all-important sense of humor. So as I do each week, I'm going to pray over these cards and ask the Lord to send us messages and guidance about what to expect and how we can help ourselves. So this is going to be for Monday, Tuesday. And I'm not going to put it down because it's windy. <laughs> and this one is popping out for Wednesday, Thursday. Maybe if I go like that. Okay. Now, Bella, which one's going to be for the weekend? Here we go. This one wants to come out. Okay. All right. Let's check out what the cards say for this week. All right. So... This week begins with Four of Thought, which says, Spend time in nature listening for guidance from your angels and God and your own inner voice, because overanalyzing the situation won't provide the answers you're seeking. So it's a, it's a time, in other words, to take a break, take a vacation, call in well to work, retreat if you can. Um, do your best to not say yes to any activities that are... Um, if it's if it's non-optional, don't go. In other words, just stay home for the first couple of days and and adjust your energy, rest, rejuvenate. You know, if you could go to a spa or um, some sort of getaway place, camping, hiking would be good. Out in nature, spending time with animals, right, Bella? And just detaching from any kind of hustle and bustle, any kind of city life. So let's see what the middle of the week is saying. And this is Guardian of Action. And so it's saying that it's about leadership. It's about you, time to step up and be the leader. And they're saying that this has to do with your own life, your own circumstances. So not to be passive, to take charge. And that can be, bless you, with taking a retreat and getting out of situations that are toxic to you or that just don't feel right. Trust your gut on this. And also to help others. Sometimes you might get a strong gut feeling and you think, doesn't anyone else know this? Or doesn't anyone else think this way? And they don't. They're waiting for someone to speak up and say the truth. And that's going to be you midweek. So it really is about speaking your truth. But because it's Mercury Retrograde, take your time in, in communicating. Because misunderstandings do come up. Things come out of you and, and they can offend people and you don't mean them to. Or you can be offended and you don't mean them to. So again, it's that patience and that sense of humor that counts. And then as we get to the weekend, it really is about taking the time to review your life. And that's so perfect for Mercury Retrograde. Everything that starts with RE is, is it. Review, redecorate, redo, rework. So review and contemplate is where we're going to be next weekend. Right, guys? You guys are having fun. <laughs> They're like, why worry? So, Review and contemplate where you've come so far and the changes you want to make. And that can be in any area of your life, with your personal relationship with yourself, with work, with relationships, where you live. It's a really good time to, to get a piece of paper out or a document on uh, your computer and just sit there and go, hmm, what's working for me and what's not? And, and of course other people will be affected by this and you'll think about them, but it's a time for you to be really honest with yourself 
and take that honest inventory. So it's a week of really um, detaching from the hustle and bustle, as I said. It's a week of you not being passive, though. You're really being active and taking charge of your life. Leadership is, has come up, and leadership in terms of doing a review of what's happened so far and what changes you want to make. Remember, don't let anyone push you into something that doesn't feel right. Listen to your inner gut. Of course, listen to God's guidance. Pray always. Listen to your prayers. And it will all be in the best interest of everyone involved. I will be live on Hay House Radio this week. And I will, of course, be on Instagram every day pulling a daily card for you and others and explaining its relevance. And I'm sending you so much love. Angel blessings, my friend. And please, say it with us. Ready, Bella? Aloha. Have a good week, everyone. Lots of love. Right, Bella? Such a good girl. Such a good girl. Hope. Care up. Give me your hope. Give me your care up. Give me your Bentley. Give me your... Hi, babies. Hi. <laughs>